What's up, ladies and gentlemen of the internet? Jade Ferrer for the Jade Ferrer Show. And I'm late already, and as you can tell from the title of the video, today is my Armageddon blog. So I'm going to be meeting up with Mike in just a few minutes, by the magic of video anyway, and we're going to be showing you around Armageddon and possibly pointing out some of the accessibility features. A little easter egg for you guys, as you can see behind me with Hannah. Or hey she is wearing the limited edition awesome t-shirt. So comment comment down below if you know the history behind this t-shirt but enough rambling from me let's get to armageddon so the thing for me that i like about armageddon is just the outright craziness is that it's probably the one time of the year that um, people dress up as anime characters and they don't get too much judgment for it. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of expecting a lot of food. Kind of, we went to Big Boys Toys and think, okay, know the venue. Okay, know about there's gonna be a lot of anime and no games. So. There'll be, there'll possibly be a lot of gaming tournaments. I think Mike was talking about the fact that they've got a few gaming tournaments. I heard him talk about Street Fighter and some other games, and they always have Magic the Gathering, the yeah. the card game tournaments. And I've never seen Magic actually. I've seen, played. I've seen one tournament of Magic, and um, it's really intense, but also really nerdy at the same time. <laughs> yeah gonna be a good day uh, looking forward to catching up to Mike we're about one hour late uh, based on the schedule that we set so. so I have absolutely no idea where Mike is but it's just full of people right now absolutely insane not so many cosplayers I was I was expecting way more way more there's a few though I know these guys. Josh! Mike Pullman! Hey man, what's up? <laughs> How's it going? Not too bad. What are we doing today? Just walk around the pool with your friend, bro. Yeah, cool. Right. Where are they? Have we lost them already? Yeah. Did you get a photo? Yeah, I just looked at my video. A big priority today is probably the gaming booth. Yeah. It's so loud. I I hope there's even usable audio. <coughs> Waiting in lines. The hype train is real. So, are you going to wait in line and play? Yeah. Yeah, what do you know about Far Cry? Um, I played the third one, it's really, really good. Sort of like a first person. What do you know about this one though? Far Cry 5? I played, I, not much. I just know it's set in America. Played some Far Cry 5. No, not, yeah, Far Cry 5. Yeah, that's Far Cry 5. Yeah. people watching me right now. Yeah, it's kind of awkward, eh? <laughs> Got 
Looks pretty good graphically though. Good confirmed up, get, get the knockdown. This is already comfy in the corner. Wow, sweeps right under the fireball. Cause that was in the corner. Kati can come back here. Mix up into the command grab. The comeback is real. It's command grab. So close to the One more. Oh my god. Anybody game? The dragon punch. What an answer. Five minutes. Just now to uh, get some air, I think. It's pretty intense. I don't know what this is, but it looks cool. So Hannah, yeah. what would you say about the accessibility? Yeah, the real big difference, and I'd really advocate for uh, an accessibility day. Yeah. Um, but I was really impressed that impressed that the stage we played Forza on had ramps, so that's really good. But yeah. the amount of people, nah, it, it needs to be another day. Joker. It's Harley Quinn. Ah, uh, I should just stop talking now. Stop being a blender, mate. Stop being a blender. It's called, hey, remember I'm blind? I'm trying. I, li I like this time of the day. Yeah. Right. It's a bit more livable. Yeah. Just looking around. They got some DS's. And that stuff. Nintendo logo. I don't have a switch yet. We haven't, we haven't solved that yet. Oh, e EB is selling a switch. I also do uh, rapping, yeah. um, poetry and short stories as well. Do you print your own gears? 
This is legit, bro. Yeah, man, just been um, hating all, all, um, all things um, all weekend. So just to let you know, when these, these are brothers, those are 10, that's 10, that's 5, that's 10. Those are 20. Um, but that's all the stock there, only about 2XL, extra small, medium, and 2 uh, I don't know. Here. What a business guy. You're such a business guy. I like oh. that. I was like, hey, you gotta, you gotta survive in Auckland somehow. <laughs> oh, man. How's it been for you? How's it been for you? Anyway? Not bad, bro. Not bad. Uh, no, good to see you. Yeah, you too, man. It's like, it's like, it's small world, eh? Uh, it's a small world, but bigger universe. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, we, we, if you can't find it out there, you use this. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh there as well. I like that. Spent $30. I've been actually quite conservative about my spending. You have. At Armageddon. I thought we were going to come here to do some damage. But there's been no damage. So, not too much. Not too much, not too bad. What are these guys? Are these guys a games place or a DVD place? Hey, going? You guys sell DVDs? Yep. Okay. Yeah, it's DVDs, Blu-rays, a lot of anime, a little bit of horror. I love me a glove. Thanks, man. I um, I, I broke the damn thing. I broke it like just before like the morning of yesterday when I was here putting it on. What does broken mean? I, I broke. I pu I accidentally pulled one of the wires when I was putting it on, so this doesn't line up anymore. Oh, bro. <laughs> Just before we oh. opened. Oh, good oh, Where did you get that though? Because a, oh, yeah. a lot of people watching my channel will probably say, where did you get that glove? Uh, it's a company called Cat Toys. It's from China. They're on eBay. So yeah. C-A-T-T-O-Y-S. Uh, they do left and right handed gloves. Uh, they they do like full full arms. They do just the gloves and they do helmets as well. That would be so, yeah. Are they expensive? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, kind of the three to four hundred dollar mark. Yeah. And you broke it. When I'm doing this kind of stuff, they do copper wear and tear, and also the fact that I'm constantly like banging it against stuff. <laughs> you know, yeah. Good on you for wearing yeah. it, though. Actually yeah. going with it. Yeah. But you know, it, it fits the whole thing. Yeah. And working too, I still have my right hand to do stuff. Yeah. You yeah. sound like you're not from here. No, I'm from Melbourne, Australia. Yeah. I There's a here. lot of you here actually right yeah, now. Yeah. 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 yeah, there's a, 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 a there's vendors that we yeah. know because we're at the cons as well. That's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so it's like you're here as well, Dave. <laughs> yeah. well, no, good, no. good talking to you, man. Good talking to you too, yeah. man. I think the show's almost over. Like Sunday they close at five, don't they? Yeah. I'm not too sure. I thought it was set, but... Um. Uh, I kind of don't want to be here at the same time that everybody else is sort of there. But, okay, so my reflections on Armageddon... I'm, I'm, I'm one of those people that genuinely do make effort to come to things. I like to go outside, I like to come to things, I like to be part of environments like this. I'm all about gaming culture and, oh, I'll just show, like, you know, I picked up a couple of, picked up a couple of prints, like that, and, you know, we're gonna have a lot of fun framing those and putting those up and you know, real man cave sort of office yeah. stuff that I'm gonna to start to build and we'll look great in the show's background. You no, know, all in all, just this sounds like a, r a really weird word to say at a place like this, but I'm truly grateful to uh, be able to come to something like this and. Like Mike and I had a few conversations today around the accessibility of those things. So Mike, Mike and I had a c couple of conversations around the accessibility 
And yep, there are definitely places where we we could do we could do it better. Yeah. But all in all, I really feel like this event is worth coming to. Yeah, definitely. What we would say, what Hannah did say earlier, was that you know maybe a specific day where it was just restricted to people that needed support, that'd be really cool, I think. I think that'd be really good. Um, the crowds were crazy when we arrived. We were kind of able to get through just then, but you were feeling like it was the end of the day and we could have seen so much more. It would have been great, and I'm not saying that accessible day people would take all the merchandise and all the products yeah they buy things but it would actually people would actually be able to get to things and pay for things and actually be able to enjoy it see everything that is here and we don't want to come i'm not seeing a day where they're still setting up and only half of it's here we want to have a full experience of the I'm genuinely surprised at how little I actually bought this summer. I thought you would have bought more from EB. So what I end up buying, I bought a two dollar Superman mug. Superman drink bottle, yeah. Yeah. And, and from Mighty Eight. Two games. Yeah. And that's it. Not bad. And you got given three. Oh, we, we haven't even said the truth. So after my experience with the Forza race, which I didn't actually do that well in, I got, well, not, it was actually before, I got three full game down, downloads for my account on Xbox. That's cool. So, have I got amazing value out of my ticket here today? Absolutely. Yeah. You know, for the ticket price, there are certainly ways where you can find value for what you pay. Probably a good time to say a big shout out to Armageddon for uh, hosting me today and also supplying the media pass for myself and Hannah. Yeah. Thanks so much. The, the Jade Farrow Show we're truly on it to have this opportunity and um, yeah we'll definitely do it again and we encourage people of all abilities to come back and do it again and I'm getting a phone call so this will probably be a good place to wrap the video today I think and my overall impression is yep Armageddon is still a great event and you know definitely opportunities for quite a bit of family fun. Worth saying that we didn't see everything that there is to offer. Yeah. And if we were better organised, we would have... And if we were better organised, we would have broken up our content over the four days. Like, it would have been cool to do the food of Armageddon, the games of Armageddon, the cosplay of Armageddon, you know? Yeah. So we definitely didn't get to see everything, but all in all, I felt really good about it. Would I come without a support person? Probably not. That's not something that I would feel totally safe about. Yeah. Um, but had no real emergencies. Mark, Mark, Mike's gone home now. I saw him just a little bit before off camera. He looked a bit haggard as well. I'm feeling haggard. I don't know if I look haggard, but I definitely feel it. And um, my battery indicators just lit up. So guys, look, thank you for joining us for our Armageddon vlog. vlog. Yeah. I'll do that again. Thank you for joining us for our Armageddon vlog. Uh, I really enjoyed making it for you, and I know Hannah did as well. 
but anyway guys thank you for being a part of the channel thank you for being a part of the journey and we'll see you in the next one